Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How you doing? Uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, and that is uh, Ferrell's hooks. Now, um, the reason is because Say It Was Squishy, Squishy from Say It From Squishy, has uploaded her video from the hashtag sisterhood of the traveling hook. And um, she gave a fantastic video, absolutely fantastic video. She went deep into explaining how she felt about the hook and her dislikes and likes and, and all that. And you got to go watch the video. It's linked down below. Um, but when I watched her video and I looked at some of her comments, the comments under her video, something occurred to me. One, I've never really talked about the hooks. And two, um, there is a definite difference between knife holders and pencil holders. Uh, and the, like the way you hold your hook with these, with these hooks. So I kind of wanted to talk to you about that today. Now, I am a furls lover. Like I, I love my furls. But the way I started out with furls, probably wasn't the way I should have uh, because I was just so excited about about the hooks. Now when I bought my hooks they had the Odyssey hooks and the Odyssey hooks here's one okay the Odyssey hooks are the one of the Cadillacs of these hooks okay they are expensive to say the least. But um, the reason why I got that hook first is, and I explained this when I first got my furls hooks last year. Um, my grandma uh, on my dad's side, my step, I guess it was my step grandma, um, she was Russian and she used to have the, this cutlery these knives, forks, spoons, all that, that had this kind of handle on it. Except hers came down into a, a real point. And when I saw this hook, it triggered me in the best way possible. Um, when I knew her, I was six, seven something like that. That was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember a lot about her. I only met her a, a couple of times. But these, these, this cutlery stuck in my head. I don't know why. So when I saw this, it was like, I have to have it. It just brought up some, some good memories, right? Like it just absolutely... It triggered me like you would not believe. So this was the very first furls hook that I got. Now these hooks are heavy. They they are they've got some weight to them. Okay. For someone who is either a new crocheter, well actually no anybody anybody that is used to a lighter hook may not like these hooks in the beginning. Okay. Um, so I, when I did it, I did it all backwards, but at the time, the, this kind of a hook, I think this was the very first type of, um, hook that they had. They had all the other hooks that have all the bumps and everything, and there were wood hooks and, um, <clears throat> and all that. But I think this was their very first hook of this style. So I, I was not disappointed at all, but there is a learning curve to these hooks. There really is. Um, I hold mine like this. Okay. That's the pencil grip. Um, so when I'm crocheting, that weight is on my wrist, right? Uh, the cramps, I got cramps all in here when I first started using this hook. It's a different different muscle that you're using, right? 
So, oops, sorry guys. I'm all tangled up in my mic. Um, so I got the cramps all down in here. So it's a different, different muscle that you're using or you're, maybe it's not this different muscle. It's the fact that the, the weight difference is really working your muscle, right? Now, knife holders, I'm finding are having a different issue with these hooks. Okay. Um, and it's the fact that they have to apparently do a lot more wrist action. Okay. Um, who was it? Was it Darla? I can't remember um, which one of the Canadian um, Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook recipients said this, but she said she was doing the wrist action and then she realized she had to twist it instead to get it through. It's getting, getting the yarn, doing the yarn over and pulling through that seems to be the issue. Um, so a lot of people are doing a lot more wrist action, but she was doing the rolling of the hook instead. And these hooks, because they're so round, it rolls really easily, right? So that might be something for the other recipients that are going to be getting the hook. If you are a knife holder to try that and try and roll it instead of doing all this craziness with your wrist. Um, for the pencil holders, you're going to find that you don't have to roll the hook with this. Although sometimes I do. So it depends on the yarn, right? But like I said, these ones are the heavy ones and they are um, the, the ones that are the, you have to get to used to most. You can't just pick it up and go, oh, I'm going to just crochet with it. it. It's a learning curve. It's going to take some time. Okay, um, the, the next furls hooks that I tried, uh, oh, and by the way, these hooks are made, they come in nickel, rose gold, and gold finishes. Now, I know that, I think it's um, Crystal for Chronically Crocheting that is allergic to nickel. Uh, so if you're allergic to nickel, although you're holding the hook up here, I don't know, like if you have your thumb down in here or something, um, it might not be for you, but uh, just keep that in mind. Okay, I've got the Furls website up here, so um, I can tell you a little bit about these hooks. Now... This second set that I got was the Streamline Furls. Okay, they are wood. Oh, whoops. They come in um, teak, ebony, and cam wood. Now, uh, just to show you. Ooh, that one's pretty. <laughs> uh, here, I'll just show you if you haven't seen there you go it shows you some of the hooks okay these are wood hooks I me personally if you like wood hooks these are going to be great for you um, I personally am not a fan of wood I've tried various different types I bought two of these hooks. I gave them away because I didn't like the fact that they split the yarn um, and that they, it, it was a hard time trying to pull, do the yarn over and pull through because uh, it was getting caught on everything. Now that's just me. It's because I'm not used to the wood hooks. But I found like 
one thing you will notice too with the Odyssey there's the um, the the hook here is not very deep okay with all the others they are really deep okay um, so I'm, I'm starting to find that when I'm using my Odyssey hooks I'm not I can't grab the yarn as good right it keeps slipping out especially with the ones that are really big anything above a 10 with these hooks I can't use them um, so but with the wood ones the wood ones are really deep but they I just can't seem to use them I can't get a grasp on how to use them and I find that the yarn squeaks with those now I'm not saying that that's going to be for everybody I'm just saying that's what it was for me okay they feel really nice in the hand they're extremely light extremely light like you can't even feel them in your hand they're so light uh, but for me I just I couldn't get used to them um, also there's still a difference between the camwood teak and ebony like I don't I don't know if it's the um, uh, the finish on them or what but I find the ebony hook wasn't as bad as the teak and camwood like the the finish on the teak and camwood wasn't as um, silky slippery as on the ebony the ebony one seemed to go through a lot easier so that's something that's good to know as well um, it says also the streamlines are a full seven inches in length okay so that that's a pretty pretty big hook right um, if you're not used to hooks that are long uh, that might be an issue okay um, now the Cadillac for me the Cadillac of hooks is the streamlined swirls okay these are the ones that I sent out for the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. These two, actually. Um, they come in... Oh, I keep going back and forth here. The Odyssey hooks come in a, a whole bunch of colors. A whole bunch of colors. So do the Streamlined Swirls. They just came out with the new um, limited series. Wow, they're already sold out. Thank goodness I ordered mine. Um, these are the Supernovas. Oops, hang on. Dropping my hooks. Okay, these are the Supernova. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, I just ordered mine. I have three coming and they should be here within the next couple of days. So I'll be able to show you uh, what they look like but oh, I'm so excited I am so excited the Aries and Taurus I'm a Taurus and I went to get these hooks and by the time I got there they were all gone I was so disappointed oh I'm really hoping like right now they have a few in Aries they've got a size four millimeter in a Taurus that's all they have um, so yeah that was a real bummer they the streamlined swirls come in a bunch of different colors and they are to me the as much as the Odyssey is the Cadillac I find that the swirls are the best for me okay they are the weight on them 
that these these are so light it's amazing how light these really are um Do, 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 do. I'm trying to see what specs are here. Okay, so these are made from non-porous resin. Okay, um, they are $22 each, and the weight of, of them is point five or 0.75 ounces okay whereas the wood ones are 0.5 ounces so these are a little bit heavier than the wood but you know what you, you can barely tell you can barely tell i mean <clears throat> but they because it's got the the really nice finish on them they glide like nobody's business they are they're great and the the hook is deep as well so when you're yarning over um, it really grabs and it just it brings it through I have a really hard time with uh, the bobble stitch and everything I have absolutely no problem with the, this hook doing those stitches bobble stitch popcorn stitch um, stuff like that like that I, I could not do a bobble stitch for my life until I started using this hook okay um, they come in a, a huge amount of, uh, sizes and the, the colors are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So for me, um, these hooks are the cats, but like they are, they, I, they're sweet. They are sweet. Uh, the there is a difference between some of them okay like the finish on them <clears throat> like this one whoops hang on okay this one this is the one that is going around the Canada and the US the finish on it is not as silky uh, and this is the um, there's <clears throat> cafe and there's cream. Like the cafe is the brown one. I have, I have almost all the swirls guys, <laughs> but they're all in projects. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're all in projects. Oh, like here's one. Oh, hang on. Ah. <clears throat> here's the other one. Okay. Um, I just absolutely adore these hooks but this one i don't know if you can see the finish on this one is a little more dull right so it feels different right it's gonna affect um the 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 yarn like when you bring pulling the yarn through it may affect and that's why some some of the people are saying there's that they hear squeaking okay it could be because of the finish because with these ones I don't have any squeaking issue but this one I have a little bit okay uh, so this one is which one is this come on this one is the cookies and cream. This has a really nice finish to it. It's very silky, like very satiny. Okay. Um, it's, it's like a dream. It really is. Most of the hooks have this finish. Okay. Uh, but this one so far is the only one that I've found that doesn't have quite the shiny finish on it. Um, so it seems to be that the knife holders are having a little bit more issue than the pencil holders. 
uh, getting used to the fact that the the hook is deeper um, is a learning curve for some people the shaft on these is really long right opposed to there's the difference okay um, so the like on a Susan Bates well not so much a Susan Bates well maybe uh, or um, like some of the other hooks the shaft is smaller so getting used to the, sh the length of the shaft I know Sandy from left is right is going to watch this and Joe from Joe's web is going to watch this and they're going to be laughing at the fact that I'm saying this so much <laughs> I'm watching you <laughs> I know because I'm saying it and I'm going oh this sounds terrible but anyways um but it's true the shaft is longer and it does take a little time to get used to it okay if you if you buy these hooks um you need to give it time you know uh the muscle memory for me took about a month took about a month for me to get used to the Odyssey hook. Um, I was constantly having to like massage in there. Uh, but then I'm, I have issues with my hands. I've got arthritis in my hands anyway. But they, once you get used to them and you figure out your own way of working with it, they are a dream to work with. I love them so much. They're not for everybody. And that is another reason why I did the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. So many people are on the fence about whether or not to buy them. And the fact that you can have it in your hand and work with it before you buy it is, it's brilliant, right? Because if you watch all the videos, you're gonna see the one thing that a lot of people are saying is, it took them some time to get used to it and two weeks you know of having the hook and people are getting their projects done in like a couple of days after the getting the hook and then shipping it off right away I encourage you when you get this hook don't just you know make one or two projects like quick projects and then go okay I'm done I've done my video boop it's off in the mail Take time with this hook. Take some time with it. Really get the feel of it. Because if you if you do just one project, you're gonna get an you're gonna get a negative feel for it that you aren't gonna have in a in a week and like the next week if you're using it a lot, right? Like if you I, that's why I gave everybody two weeks because it's not about getting a project done. And getting it off in the mail right away okay this is about actually spending time with this hook right because you're not gonna get a good idea of what this hook can do for you unless you do that right this is not a speedy thing I want you to really give it a good go right because you're gonna regret it if you don't because the first week you're going to go oh I don't know about this hook the second week that you work with it you're going to go oh, I love this hook right or you may not but I'm just saying give it a chance um I don't want you guys to rush this I want you to have fun with it right and and really get to know this hook okay uh another thing I wanted to talk about is the Australia hook uh, only had three recipients and then it's going off to the Netherlands I don't think that's enough for this hook okay uh, I am thinking that I may send the hook after it goes to the Netherlands I'm thinking I might send it to the UK what do you guys think 
Okay. <clears throat> so I need to hear from some UK YouTubers that want to try this hook. Okay. Uh, I want to see how many, <clears throat> excuse me, how many of you um, in England would like to try this? You know, try before you buy. <laughs> uh, so, yes, if you would like to be a part of the hashtag sisterhood, sisterhood of the traveling hook, UK style, <laughs> let me know because we've only got one more person to get the hook uh, before it's supposed to come back to me. And seeing that the Netherlands and the UK are kind of in that same area, uh, I think it would be a good idea to send it on over there. Okay, so let me know ASAP if you are in the UK and you want to be a part of this and you are a YouTuber. This is only for YouTubers, content creators. I'm so sorry, but this is the best way for me to keep track of the hook. And it's all about doing a review uh, on the hook on YouTube. So if you are a content creator in the UK and you want to jump on this, this bandwagon, email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com and uh, let's see what we can do okay let's keep this party going all right because the u at canada us hook has got a long way to go and it would be really sad for the uh, australia netherlands hook to be just sitting here with me okay so if you want to get involved email me let's do this okay so i will talk to you guys later thanks for joining me i love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye.